So why is it that the power company doesn't bury power lines? Every time the wind kicks up or you get a lot of rain, one of these tree branches will take out the power. So you'd think the obvious solution is just put the power lines under the ground. Now there's a lot of challenges to get the wires into the ground. I've seen all kinds of numbers on how much it costs to get them into the ground. Like $70 a foot to put it in the air and $700 to get them into the ground. And when they're in the ground, they may only last 25 years. To me, $700 a foot sounds high. When we had power lines buried, it was about $700 for the whole run. And that was for about 100 foot of wire. Ever since we've had this line buried, we've never had a problem. We only have problems with the power lines in the air. We had the conduit buried into the ground. This is Schedule 80, it's really thick. This conduit goes underground and the power company comes in and they pull it through with a rope. Now it does seem about once a year when the wind kicks up, it'll take out the power. One year we were out of power for about seven days. So to make sure the refrigerator and everything stays cold, we have this generator. It's not fancy, but it gets the job done. That is, of course, when it gets started. When the power goes out, you gotta be ready at a moment's notice. You gotta make sure the gas is fresh, the choke is all ready, Just keep everything all tuned up. Tonight's that typical, the wind blew, the power went out. You give a call to the power company and hope the power's not out for too long. If the power's out of day, it's just like camping. Crack out the gas grill, it's kind of fun. When the power's out for a week, then it's not quite so much fun. Either way you go, in the ground or in the air, it takes maintenance. Every year, the power company sends people out to cut the trees down a little bit. To me, it looks like they're playing games a little bit with their 10-foot pole. They say if a branch is within 10 feet, they'll cut it. And in the year, that 10-foot grows back. If a tree looks like it's going to fall on a power line, they should cut the tree out. It just seems like they're trying to preserve their job for next year. For as many times as I've seen the power company come out and trim trees, the same time could have been put in with a backhoe. Then every time the wind blows, the power doesn't go out. Now I know there's some places that overhead lines make a lot more sense. Now I'm certainly not suggesting the whole structure goes underground, but I am saying some of this tree trimming budget should go into going underground. Now these are some of my opinions. I've done a lot of reading, I've done a lot of research. If you've got some opinions or some facts, please leave them in the comments down below. Well, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.